Hello, I'm Nick Lillard with Creature Realm Oklahoma. This is December 12th, 2022, and we are inside my studio where the immersive build is happening. This is Lawrence Kinchelo, my, yes, I got it, I got it. It's a hard name to say, but a beautiful name. Mm -hmm. And he's a long-term collaborator with me. And uh, Lawrence, you wanna talk a little bit about what you do? Uh, sure, I do all the, the, the bleeps, the meeps, and the, and the shiny, um, shiny <laughs> LED bits. That's right. So uh, anything that's interactive or light related, um, I usually have my hands on it somewhere. That's right, and we've got a few other artists here with us. Chris McDaniel's over here. Hello. And October will show up here once we get inside the space. We have a few uh, creatures over on the table, as well as one of Lawrence's experiments with uh, some of our found objects that is going to act as a lamp inside the immersive space. We also have Overbot, which is going to be uh, retrofit into an interactive sculpture. It used to be a performance piece. And to the left is the, bo the body of Cosimo. Um, but yes, this is the immersive space and it is a uh, 15 foot long by 14 foot wide by 11 foot tall, uh, semi-cubish structure and it has two openings. This is actually the non-ADA compliant opening because it's, it's too low here. Uh, and then on the other side, we have our proper front door. But uh, yeah, it's all built with sections and bolted together. So whenever we decide to move uh, the structure, it'll be relatively easy to do so. So you wanna come on in and check out what's going on. We'll walk you through generally what's happening. Most of the art is found objects. Uh, some of the walls are from brand new materials, but the actual plywood that are the asteroid leaves, which are backlit, uh, are all found plywood that has been uh, carved and routed and sanded, uh, but still remains heavily textured. Um, Lawrence and I worked on the epoxying of this throne chair, uh, which only has partial lighting right now. Uh, this was one of our our first pieces that we worked on together. Uh, and then the epoxy pours got a little bit more elaborate with uh, these medallions uh, made out of copper by October, who's right over there. Make sure she's in the <laughs> shot there. Um, October has, gosh, how many are in here now? Like 30 plus? 30 plus. So these are all, uh, this wire was all repurposed from electrical wire that we stripped the, uh, the plastic coating over uh, off of. And uh, a lot of the other things uh, such as these uh, spheres are also um, found objects. And these, these spheres that are inside uh, the, little, the little pieces inside the plywood are also from a similar type of LED light that we unscrewed and uh, used inside the plywood as stars. And then over here, actually behind Lawrence, is Chris McDaniel's artwork uh, that I've assisted him with as far as just uh, holding on to material. And it's a found plastic creature. And of course, since we're called Creature Realm, we have to have a creature somewhere in the space. Yeah, this is actually built out of uh, several performance costumes that I made that I wore. Uh, like the legs are made of two different sets of legs that I wore. and. The waist is kind of like, used to be a piece that fit around uh, my midsection. Uh, then I basically just uh, took all of them because I couldn't store them anymore. I didn't want to store them anymore. I made them into one big giant piece, uh, kind of, I don't know, Voltron style or Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or whatever your- Definitely Voltron. Or whatever your age is. Clicks on like Voltron. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, still got a ways to go. I've got to add wings to him um, and some more details. Uh, but the majority of the form is in place. And, um, he's got to, I've got to do a little bit more posing and bring him a little better. Kind of bring him to life. And then we have the miniature balcony and climb up area, which is behind Chris and uh, a bench. Uh, and this is all found object steel with a uh, railing here, but we also have extra railing that is attached to the walls. Uh, that's sanded down for people to grip. And uh, of course, right now, this would be a head, you know, kind of a headache area. So we're gonna create some soft forms to go over there. 
and these are all kind of textured um, in a way that on the inside there's actually epoxy in the grooves but they're heavily grooved so you have traction and of course it's uh, part of the aesthetic as well it also integrates uh, the epoxy and the grooves and these holes right here this is actually going to have white on white shapes um, so they're not going to actually be see-through we were trying to finish that for you but we just couldn't fully get it all done but everything that is supposed to be carved out of wood generally already has been it's just a matter of putting it all up into the sections and actually chris and i were talking about the wings over here uh, above this the larger doorway is uh, going to have a you know some carved wood as well as plastic up top and the white on white effect is similar to what's happening here which actually this is silicone in the back and these are going to be uh, epoxy pores with uh, some of october's uh, basic medallions going through in the shapes in different spots of her approval october's going to figure out which ones she wants to put the medallions in and which ones she wants to leave uh, but they're going to be kind of like stained glass effects, uh, which the rest of them, they have this off-white, which is for, uh, as we talked about with Lawrence, is so that essentially these colors are true whenever it's backlit. It's got full vibrancy with these LED lights. And there's going to be a tremendous amount more uh, milk bottle plastic that is going to create a softness throughout, all throughout the walls. There's going to be milk bottle plastic on the ceilings. And of course, we're gonna hide some of these plugs with some milk bottle plastic. It's very useful for multiple things, but it's essentially a filler. So we have yet to do that stage. So hardly any of the plastic is in here right now. Thank you so much for visiting. We are on Instagram under Creature Realm Oklahoma. And please come and check out the build for yourself here in Norman, Oklahoma. Thank you.